Good morning. It is the seventh and final day of the most middle of middle class week ons I've done yet. A week on Waitrose Essentials. I'm going to do the first thing that I do in every day on the week on now get some breakfast. So, whilst Gracie makes herself her porridge, here's my breakfast dominated by orange juice. So, yeah, I'm going to finish off the orange juice. We have also a fat free Greek style yogurt. It's not Greek yogurt, it's Greek style yogurt, which I'm going to have with a bit of muesli and a banana. Going to be nice and healthy this morning. And a cup of tea. Obviously. There we go, it's not bad, is it? Let's give it a go. Mmm. That Greek yogurt's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it really cuts through the um, blandness of the muesli. Mmm. Very good. Ah, my old friend. So my breakfast was actually pretty good this morning. I really enjoyed it. Oh, good. Just a bit of yoghurt and some muesli. And a banana, nice and healthy. So I guess um, I'm going to go back and do something not healthy for lunch. But yeah, I need to go back and do some work. But as you can see, out for a nice healthy walk. Getting our allotted Boris approved daily exercise in. Yes. Like we did in lockdown one. So It's chillier this time. Like. It's freezing. So uh, it's only going to get colder, you know. Yes. But at least it's going to get lighter in the evening. So we'll be able to go after work as opposed to Thankfully. during. So... Oh, naked with power walking it. So, yeah, hungry now. Gonna go and get something, as I said, not quite as healthy as muesli for lunch. What are you having for lunch? Um, noodles. With gravy? No, I haven't got any gravy. Oh, <laughs> no, you're gonna have to eat them as God intended. Yeah. Right, I am getting hungry, so let's go. Lunch, now. Worked up a bit of a hunger this lunchtime, so time to uh, crack out. Probably not all of them. Probably gonna have three of them. Three of these inside that, usually called a sandwich. Gonna be accompanied by this, usually called tomato ketchup. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a quick sausage sandwich and then crack on with some more work. If I'm still hungry after this, probably uh, probably have a packet of crisps, still got some of those left. I don't know what to say really, it's a sausage sandwich. How did this week cost a hundred pounds? There we go, one sausage sandwich. Bit of ketchup in there, lovely stuff. Can't beat a sandwich made with white bread. And you know what? The last day, why not have a packet of crisps as well? Let's be dangerous. Right, I'm gonna go and eat these. You do not want to see me try and eat a sausage sandwich on camera, believe me. So uh, yeah, I'll let you know how it is later on, which is actually gonna be now because that's how videos work. I've gotta say, whilst the Waitrose Essentials meat is a little hit and miss, their bread has actually been fantastic. Um, previously, when I've done these budget supermarket range week ons, the um, the bread has like gone mouldy within like two or three days, whereas the Waitrose Essentials white loaf has actually lasted all week, and there's not a speck of mould anywhere to be found. And believe me, I've looked because I don't trust cheap bread, but it's been really good. I've been really impressed with their bread. So. Um, top marks on that Waitrose. So um, yeah, I've spent the afternoon working, busy little bee that I am, uh, so now I am starting to get hungry. My sausage sandwich did hit the spot, um, but yes, alas, that's what happens, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've got nothing else to say, just let's go cook. Okay, so this is a new one, isn't it, Basil? Yes, on the sofa now, on the, okay. Right, fine. That's what he thinks. So, is this going to replace the table, do you think? Maybe, yeah. It could be worse places for it. Yeah, so. like hopefully, because, yeah, you really shouldn't be on the table. Dirty boy. Dinner this evening to mark the end of the week on. It's got to be fish, hasn't it? No kippers, though, this time. This time, codfish fingers. Waitrose essential. Codfish fingers. What? How much do you think? Uh, let's do a quiz, Gracie. How much okay. cod do you think is in my codfish fingers, uh, percentage-wise? Sixty-two. So, have you looked? Because no. it's sixty-four. Oh, 
Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> that's very close. Yeah. Uh, well done. You're not actually having this, though, are you? No, I don't fancy that. You don't tonight. fancy You're having a soup. Yeah. Making it in the... Tomato, tomato soup. soup. Lovely. Oh, God, smelly. Smelly, smelly soup. So, um, yeah, as long... Uh, as well as uh, my fish fingers, I'm also having some crinkle cut oven chips. These will go in the oven with those. They're going to be accompanied by just some veg. I, I would have preferred mushy peas, but alas, I have no mushy peas. And Did then, not do I can't remember. <laughs> and then I am uh, topping it off with a bit of tartar sauce. Got to have fish with tartar sauce. Stop telling me off. Just careful, you know me like break it. Relax. Right, yeah. These are all going in the oven, which has just roasted your tomato, so it's nice and hot. So, best get cracking. How's about that then? Looks pretty good. Um, yeah, traditionally it would be peas or mushy peas, ideally. But, um, you know, it's not an ideal world, is it? However, I do have some tartar sauce to plonk on there. Oh, let's load that up. Yum. Okay, let's try a corner Ooh, of two fish fingers, apparently. This is going to be really awkward with uh, one hand. There we go, I did it. Ooh. That's tart tartar sauce. Oh, that's got a kick. That is sour. Fish fingers are not super fishy, actually. Let's try one without anything. Hmm, they're okay. Nothing to write home about. Let's try it. Crinkle cut. Oh yeah. Oh, they're nice. Do you want a chip? Okay. There you go. And here's your soup. That looks cracking. Mm, tastes all right. Nice and mm. thick. Your waitrose. Oh, and uh, a little yeah. cheeky sandwich with it. Soup and a sandwich. Mm. And more waitrose stuff. What is this? Just a bit of yogurt. To stir in. That looks nice and fresh. Mm. Looks really good. This looks nice too. <laughs> Gonna tuck in. Dinner finished. It was very nice. Uh, probably, I mean, if I was being picky. Um, wish I had more, but that's my own doing, isn't it? Um, the tart sauce was very tart, very um, very creamy, it was very nice. The fish fingers were, yeah, fairly standard, they were fine, um, but the chips were lovely. Yeah, those oven chips. Um, they definitely know how to do their carbs, do Waitrose Essentials. They're, they're carb lovers, more than meat lovers, I would say. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy this nice final cup of tea of the week, purely because um, I have to take my um, my trays out to drink this, um, otherwise it could warp them, and uh, there's no way I am going through that rigmarole every time I want a cup of tea, even though I'm absolutely <laughs> desperate for one, but I want to enjoy this one. And uh, yeah, I'll probably go bother Basil a little bit more, and go to bed and uh, think about hopping on the scales. This is not a weight loss week on, by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, at the start of the week I had quite a lot of puddings and stuff, didn't I, a lot of sweets, but Towards this uh, tail end of the week, I haven't. I basically ate all of the desserts at the start of the week. No chocolate or anything. How interesting. Where's your confectionery, Waitrose Essentials? Where's your cheap chocolate? Love me some cheap chocolate. But I didn't see any during my shop. Well, so, um, yeah. It's, I mean, I'll do, my, I'll do my conclusion now with my cup of tea. It's been a good day. Breakfast with my yoghurt and muesli, I'm going to continue to have that because that is very nice. Uh, then lunch was a sausage sandwich with the leftover sausages, again, very nice. A lot of bread, a lot of bread today, and that ketchup's not too bad either. Um, and then finally, my dinner was uh, fish fingers with my chips and my mixed veg. Oh, I'm not forgetting the tart sauce as well. Very nice. It's been a good day, a good day to end on. I thought today was going to be a bit, you know, ooh, the dregs of it, but... You know, for a hundred quid for this week, you would hope that most of the meals are going to be nice. But we'll do the main uh, conclusion after I've done my weighing. But yes, reminders, it is not a weight loss week on. So I, uh, I'm fully prepared for the scales to uh, go in that direction. A bad direction. We're going to have to do something about that, aren't we? I've got the next week on plan. So uh, yes, going to go to bed now. Well, after this, in a bit-ish. And um, yeah dread things. Remember, not at weight loss, we can't. <coughs> oh my
my god. Remember, not a weight loss week on. Well then, there we go, that's another week on done. And um, yeah, the scales, not pretty sights after that. But I guess, I mean, even though I've not been eating loads, I guess the stuff I have been eating hasn't been great. Like, usually Grace and I will buy meat with low fat content, like uh, burgers, um, you can get like 3% fat burgers, um, as opposed to 20 odd, um, and also those lamb meatballs, incredibly fatty, like we had to drain so much fat off of them when we were, when we were uh, frying those off, so yeah, maybe it's just a case that um, <laughs> a lot more fat, a lot of carbs, so my body has obviously gone, I'm gonna hold on to that, it's winter, so um, yeah. That's not pretty, so, um, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, and not that many sweets, actually, like, a few sweets at the start of the week, like the egg custard and, and things like that, but, yeah, not not all that many, I mean, that's thanks to my new braces that, um, I can't be asked to take them out, because you have to take them out, then you eat the thing, and then you brush the, your teeth, then you brush the things, then you have to put them back in, and it's a whole rigmarole, and it's just like, I'd rather not, I'm just going to stick to the meals, so... Oh, but yeah, I'm going to have to get over that at some point if we're going to carry on living <laughs> or snacking. And snacking is life, obviously. So um, there we go. What, what about the products themselves? Well, very much a mixed bag, basically. Quality of the meat especially is very mixed. Like the roast, like how, you can't really screw up a chicken, so that was fine. The burgers and the meatballs were pretty horrendous. The bacon was lovely. Um... So it's, yeah, it's, it's really mixed as far as the meat goes, um, but as far as everything else goes, pretty good. Oven chips, bread, great. Um, the dessert things, the sweets, great. Um, but yeah, the meat really let it down. Um, most of the, pr the products were really good, but that's, then again, it is Waitrose. It is middle class heaven. Waitrose. So, yeah, I mean, it, this was an expensive week on. And considering this was the budget line within Waitrose, yeah, not not pretty. Not pretty on the bank. Uh, I mean, to be fair, we didn't use all of the products. There were some oats we didn't use, some eggs, which were white, we didn't use, some potatoes we didn't use. So, uh, olives as well. There were olives. Essential olives. Let's just think about that for a moment. Olives. Essential. Not so sure. Not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, pizzas. I mean, I'm, I, I would say pizzas essential, wouldn't you? So I'm happy that was there. But um, to be fair to the Waitrose Essential line, there is so much of it. There is way more Waitrose Essential products than there is Tesco Value, uh, Asda Smart Price, Morrison Savers, etc., etc. So kudos to them. But then again, it feels like it is more expensive, so you would think that there would be more of a range of that. And also there is a lot of fruit and veg, um, which you can get on the Essentials line, which is great. Um, but as I've said a few times during this week on, I didn't. I wanted to avoid those products purely because I wanted to show more of a range of the interesting uh, actual products, the, the made, manufactured products, rather than just, here's a courgette. So uh, there we go. Um, yeah, some of the products are great. The price isn't. Also, their meat is very mixed, so I'd... Uh, Perhaps just buy a regular thing for that because, yeah, the burgers tasted cheap. The lamb smelt a little pissy, so not overly impressed. But the chicken was lovely. So what can you say? Very much a mixed bag. Basically, if it's going to have fat in it, maybe avoid it for as far as the meat goes. But, yeah, basically, if you're on a budget, you're probably not shopping at Waitrose. It's Karen Haven. It's Karen City. It's a Carantropolis, as you were. So, um, yeah, if you're on a budget, you're probably going to one of the other supermarkets, aren't you? Yeah, I, I mean, I haven't actually shopped in Waitrose for a long time. Long time. Purely because it is so expensive. Um, I'd much rather go to an Aldi or a Tesco. But, you know, that's it's all preference, isn't it? It's all preference, mate. What can I say? Maybe the Waitrose Essential line is for you, or maybe the Waitrose Regular line is for you. I know I'm calling it Carantropolis, but, you know, it's, it's some nice people go there. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm saying now. So let's just do the, the final conclusion. Expensive, 
Meat's a bit rubbish. The rest of the stuff's pretty good. Great selection. And I need a fifth one so I can do this. Um, 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 I could see the bloody red light going and I was praying that I could just get through the conclusion without my camera dying on me. <gasps> bloody thing. Right, basically all I had left to say was if you liked this week on, please do comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to support the show and the plethora of content that is coming your way for the rest of January and February and March through to December and beyond, then please do consider supporting the show on Patreon or becoming a member here on YouTube. All the links are in the description. It does help for me to continue making these videos. Um, I've, I've, I'm working on another, another video at the moment, a, a bit of a challenge, which I think uh, hopefully may be entertaining and will also go on throughout the year. So you'll see what that is at the start of February. But um, yeah, that's, that's looking good. I'm enjoying doing that one. So um, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Also check me out on social media. All the links are in the description. I'm just going to stop e-begging myself. Um, see you later. See you in the next week. Come bye.